We begin tonight with one of Arizona's most iconic landmarks, but the beauty can also be dangerous. In just two days last week, two people lost their lives at the Grand Canyon. Last Thursday, a man died after attempting an illegal jump. And the day before, a man slipped to his death while looking over the rim near the Pipe Creek Overlook. Foxton's Lindsay Rega spoke with that man's family and is here with more tonight. Yeah, Abel Mejia was just 20 years old. I spoke with all four of his siblings who share what they'll miss most about their brother. It's a different type of pain. Uh, it's like a, like there, there's something missing in your heart. On July 31st, 20 year old Abel Mejia was on a mission trip with his North Carolina school when he fell from the rim of the Grand Canyon. His body was found 400 feet below. Abel's sister was with her parents when they received the devastating news from the instructor. When we heard, it was we were, we were in shock and denial. We're like, there's there's no way. Dad's like, please tell me that you did that. This is a lie. You're lying to me. You're not. You know, this isn't true. My son is not dead. Um, but then he's like, no, he 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 did pass away, and I'm so so sorry. They were given little information about the worst day of their lives. Yeah, I mean, they were they were like with with a smaller group. Um, they didn't know the day that he passed, um, and they were um, doing their devotions. Uh, you know, when uh, when everything happened. It's a call that took all of Abel's siblings by surprise. It just it hit me like a ton of bricks, and I didn't I didn't know what to do. I remember, you know, getting out of the truck, and 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 just crying like it's it's like I took like a blow to my stomach. Um, I couldn't breathe. It was just, I felt this heaviness on me. They are remembering him as a happy person who always brought a smile to their faces. Every car ride, blasting the music, top of his lungs, he doesn't care if it's too high. He always, always trying to reach the note. Mejia was a freshman at Indiana Bible College who had aspirations to be a youth pastor. It's really sad that, you know, we lost our brother, but we know that he's in a better place. We know that he's with Jesus. So it's like that brings us so much peace that like I can't explain. Around 900 people have died at the Grand Canyon since the National Park was established in 1919. Reporting live, Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News. Lindsay, thank you.